take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, just imagine breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of tension or stress to leave your body in that outward breath. I want you to notice with your eyes closed, breathing in slowly and deeply in and out through your nose, you're able to find a rhythm, a rhythm of resourcefulness, a rhythm of relaxation. Give permission to yourself to relax. Acknowledge that things haven't been easy and you've done well to get this far. And I want you to get a sense that in every desert, there's an oasis. Every storm has an end. Every winter is followed by spring. And that as tough as things are, things get easier. And as you acknowledge that, you can release a bit of that tension you've been holding on to. Maybe tension in the jaw, the forehead, neck or shoulders. Enabling you to release that tension and breathe in even more resourcefulness. And as you breathe in that feeling of resourcefulness and let go of that tension start to feel so relaxed that there's a sleepy feeling. That's it. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine an island in the sea. And I want you to imagine that the very first time you saw this island It was a paradise island. And you thought this is the ideal place to build a home. But some of those things that you saw on the island weren't what you thought they were. And over time, the island wasn't a place to enjoy and stay but it reached a point where life would be better off the island. I want you to get a sense then. You start to notice those things that contributed to a decision to leave that island. I want you to allow memories to come into your mind that led to a decision. Sometimes you need to know why you're doing things. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same things and expecting a different result. And perhaps those reasons that led to a decision to leave are just as likely in the future as they would be in the past. And therefore, it kind of makes sense to remind yourself what led you to want to leave that island. And I want you to picture a wooden boat. And there is a wooden boat attached to a rope so it doesn't float away. And to begin with, you're in the boat trying to get away from the island but you can only get so far before the rope holds you back and you need to make a choice do you travel the unknown seas hoping to find a new island or do you stay attached to the island that you already know that you want to leave And I want you to feel a feeling of faith and hope 
had just a deep belief that things will work out well for you. Maybe that's located in your chest or your heart, your gut, or even your head. But just get an inner conviction that when you do things for the right reasons, it tends to lead to good outcomes. And when you're ready to detach the boat from the rope to leave the island, let me know by nodding your head. And as you do so, you start to venture out further and further from the island. It's sunny right now, but you can see a storm on the horizon. And therefore, it's crucially important to figure out where do you want to go next? And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a giant cinema screen in the sky above the ocean. And I want you to paint a picture, a movie if you will, of a desirable future for you. I want you to see yourself like you're a character on that screen, living a desirable, fulfilling, emotionally rich future. I want you to see yourself being there for your children, that your career is progressing. Perhaps you can even imagine yourself in a positive, fulfilling relationship. I want you to see yourself in the future, in a desirable future, a future where you don't have to justify or tolerate, make excuses, a future that would be genuinely desirable for you. And just decide that that is an island that exists in the sea. And you're already closer to that future because you're now in the boat in the ocean, making it possible to find that future. But on that same screen, I want you to imagine that sometimes you've got to go through a period of bleakness, the storm in your life to get to the future that you desire. Every fictional book you've ever read, every movie you've ever watched, will often follow the hero's journey. They go on a journey of having to leave something that wasn't quite right. But normally, part way through the journey, things are at the bleakest, things are at the toughest, and there is no certainty that things will work out. And it's at that point that a characteristic or quality in that main character gets discovered quite often for the first time. It was there buried deep, but it was always there. But it took the storm, the danger, the adversity to unlock that very resource. I want you to imagine on that screen seeing someone that reminds you of a resource that probably exists within you. I want you to see them where they were at their most resourceful. And I want you to see them dealing with their own adversity a challenge, but see them dealing with it in a way that is desirable and aspirational to you. Notice their facial expressions, the way they move. Notice how they go about certain things. And maybe there's qualities that come to mind. Diligence, duty, grace, Maybe it's something that's just pragmatic or composed. I 
want your mind to notice the qualities that you find desirable in this person that went through a tough time but did it well did it in the way that you would like to do it within yourself and I want you to imagine floating up from the boat into the screen and feeling what it would feel like to be that person with those qualities to feel that those qualities are being unlocked within you perhaps qualities like resilience positivity, optimism perspective tenacity I want you to unlock all of the resources required within you and then find yourself back on the boat but now seeing it's you on that screen but it's you with the qualities that previously were in that other person and you can tell those qualities now exist within you because your posture, your facial expressions how you're going about things and then notice that the boat is encountering a storm as you go through the storm the cinema screen will represent what a storm means for you in your imminent future maybe tough negotiations maybe the issues of transition and change maybe dealing with unknown variables and uncertainty but I want you to see that version of you dealing with that storm well some resource has been unlocked that means that the old coping strategies of the past aren't necessary and instead you're able to see yourself stepping up dealing with tough difficult situations but dealing with them well in a pragmatic composed almost effortless way just like a swan you may be paddling furiously under the surface but over the surface you look elegant and graceful dealing with a difficult situation in the way that you would like to and observe that happening until eventually the storm subsides maybe you can imagine a rainbow or sunshine and see that version of you on the screen feeling even stronger and more resilient having gone through what you've gone through imagine the cinema screen disappearing and up ahead I want you to see what looks like a paradise island a beautiful island but you are wiser than you've ever been in your life before You've been tricked by an island before that on the surface looked perfect but wasn't quite perfect. So I want you to imagine you're not going to commit to this island until you've done your due diligence, explored the island, figured out if you like the island, being more than willing to paddle off to a new island if this one doesn't meet what you're looking for being more than willing to explore many different islands until you find a compelling future that's right for you you don't have to get it right on your first attempt it doesn't matter what that is a home a lifestyle a way of living a way of being everything is for you to choose what's right for you but then I want you to imagine that you found the right island and imagine what it would be like for your children to be happy for you to be happy and fulfilled to feel like everything was worth it that the difficult times will help you appreciate the good times that the adversity has given you resilience 
that the mistakes have given you wisdom. That you are better having gone through this process, even if you wouldn't want to go through that same process again. But having an idea of where you want to get to, and why you're going there, unlocks all the resources necessary to make that true. So imagine just relaxing on that tropical island in the sun, feeling that you have a future that is positive and pleasurable for you, knowing that you have all of the ingredients and resources necessary to get through even the toughest of times to a place where you truly want to be. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel like you're leaving the island and returning to the present. As you wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that you're back in the present listening to my voice, accepting that this is just a journey in your imagination. Thoughts within thoughts, ideas within ideas, dreams within dreams, but now you're returning to the present, having unlocked a resource, a vision, and a motivation to give you everything you need for tough times ahead. Now I'm going to count from 1 to 10 to awaken you. You will awaken feeling resourceful, optimistic, resilient, having unlocked all of those wonderful resources that now exist within you. Starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6, more alert. 7, 8, Open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 